children and hi everyone in previous video i explained how the light rays are acts how the light rays should be uh, behave while they are incident at the refracted surfaces so in this video i am going to explain the lenses very interesting topic children lenses up to now you learned about only concave mirror and convex mirror now in this case you are going to learn about the lenses children up to now you didn't subscribe my channel subscribe my channel after watching the video you must like and share the video and comment the video if any friends of you there same class then share my videos to them also and now i am going to the topic now children lenses so today's topic what is lenses what is mean by a lens a transparent material must be transparent material must be combined with the two curved surfaces a transparent material must be bounded in between two surfaces so what is the in i told told you in previous videos what is the difference between a mirror and a, a lens mirror is nothing but having only one refracted surface or one reflect sorry one reflecting surface only there here now what will be happen in this case of in case of mirrors one side color will be there but in this case both sides should be transparent clear so a lens means nothing but what a transparent material must be bounded by bounded by two curved surfaces two curved surfaces that is the lens so i will show here some examples here now this is the bi convex lens bi convex lens or double convex lens it is also called as double convex lens so here as for definition what i am telling entire thing this gap is here now this is the this is the first curved surface this is the first curved surface and this is the second curved surfaces second curved surfaces in between these two we have transparent material a transparent material must be bounded by two curved surface is called lens transparent material must be bounded by two curved surfaces this is the first curved surface and this is the second curved surfaces so here now i am taking this is a another one i am taking this is now here so this is called here bi concave what is that bi concave lens or it is also known as the double convex lens what is that double convex lens here you have to observe what is the difference between a convex lens and a concave lens in this case i'll see here here in case of convex lens in case of convex lens what you observe the curved surface is outward curved surface is outward and here also the curved surface is outward in this case the curved surface is inward the curved surface is inward and here also it is inward how we can recognize them as the convex concave means based upon the their curved surfaces if the curved surface should be like this inward that should be concave if you can take this is the outward surface now it is a convex lens here it is the curved surface is outward and here also it is outward and now it is inward and this is also inward but children so here now in this case for example according to their structure how we can identify that means if you can touch the convex lens at the middle that should be having more thickness more thickness and edges is thin middle is thick part and edges is thin and opposite this one this one what i told you here middle part is very thick now it is thin at the middle part this is thick and this is here thin and at the curved surface it is thin and at the curved surface it is thick clear while we are touching the convex lens at the middle portion we can feel that it is very thick at the edges we can feel that it is thin but in case of a double concave or bi convex lens middle portion should be thin at the edges that should be having more thickness 
so this is the way to recognize the difference between the a convex lens and a concave lens clear i am telling two difference here both both are having two curved surface that is very clear both are having two curved surfaces but here what is the difference in case of convex lens the curved surface is outward both are outwards but in this case by concave curved surface must be inward both are inward that is the first difference while we are touching the convex lens at the middle portion we can seems that thick at the edges that should be thin clear and now for Concave middle should be thin at the edges should be thick. So here double convex and this is double concave. And now we have another type is there. This is a plane. What is that? Plane. And now this is a concave. What is surface? Concave. So convex. This is convex. It is convex and this is the plane clear now what it is called plano convex the combination of lenses plano convex clear this is the plane surface and this is the curved surface that should be outward that's why it is plano convex and now here i am drawing one more here this is the plane surface and this is the concave surface then what it is called as plano concave what is that plano concave clear different type of lenses this is the plane surface and this is the curved surface now what do you say plano convex plane and this is the convex surface plano convex and this is the what it is plane and the surface is concave that's why it is called plano concave what is that plano concave lens so we have combination of convex and concave also there you can take this is the convex this is the convex shape and now this is the concave clear now this is convex or concave what we call convex or concave so in this way we have different type of lenses children so in this one this is a very important how we can find out the focal length of convex lens and concave lens how we can show them in diagrams i will show here so you have to remind now very i will give one example for you how we can on which side we can find out the f1 c1 on which side we can find f2 c2 clear children in case of a mirror we have only one center of curvature and one focal length in case of a mirror we have only one focal length and one center of curvature but in this case for a convex lens we have two focal points and two center of curvatures clear i will show very 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 important while we are drawing the diagrams very very important so i will show on which side we have f1 c1 and on which side we have f2 c2 clear children so here now first i am taking now here this is the first i am taking this is now by convex lens clear children by convex lens this is what by convex lens so here now just imagine this is the biconvex lens here curved surfaces curved surfaces are nothing but curved surfaces are nothing but part of a center part of a sphere what is that this is the first sphere clear children this is the first surface of a convex lens now this is the first one clear and i am taking now this is a clear now i am taking this is the center here c1 center of the circle center of the circle i am taking now this is what c1 clear and we are having another circle for second one this is what second surface children very important if you can understand this one you never forget never do any mistake in diagrams clear 
So this is the second surface. For that we are drawing second sphere. This is the second sphere, children. Second sphere. So in this case, here now this is the center. What's that? This is the center I am taking now. So this is C two. Clear. This is C one and this is C two. Center of curvature of first one. Center of curvature of second one. So that means here from the lens, from the lens, right side is C one, left side is C two. Clear. Next, now I will show second one. For concave, very important children. Very very important. Don't take this light. So watch carefully. So now this is the first curved surface. This is what first curved surface. Clear. This is what. Second curved surface. Clear. Now here, a curved surface is nothing but a small portion of a sphere. This is the first sphere. Clear. So that means what? Now this is the C one. Clear. For convex, on that side we have C one. Now this is the curved surface, and that should be taken as here now center C one. clear and now this is the second surface that is also part of a another sphere that's why what you take this is c2 clear children observe so for a convex lens on right side we have c1 center of curvature that means what on the same side only we have focal length also there and now here c1 is left side of the lens left side of the lens Children, clear. Got my point? Look here once. So first we are taking biconvex lens. This is the biconvex lens. Clear. After that, we want to mention the center of curvature of the first curved surface, and we have to mention the second of curvature of second one. For that, just imagine we are constructing these two spheres because now here this is the sphere. In that, some portion is what? nothing but curved surface we are not finding this one that means what this portion is what yes uncurved surface like that just we are constructing the two spheres like that then we have the center is this one c1 and for the center is c2 for second surface clear after that now we are going going to this one this is what biconcave lens This is the first curved surface. For the surface, I am drawing here one circle, a one sphere, and this is another sphere. Now this is the for the first sphere. That's why it is C one, and now this is the C two. Got children? So C one, C two. That's why here, while we are drawing the ray diagrams, we have to must focus on the these these type of identification. Clear children? So for convex only, right side C one, F one will be there here. Left side we have F1 and C1 there. Okay, clear. So now I am going to draw the focal lengths. Focal lengths of the convex and concave. We will see. Okay, we will go for now. How we can find out the focal length of the convex lens in ray diagrams? Let us see. This is the convex lens, and as usually, this is the principal axis. What is that? Principal axis. So, if we can draw one normal onto the normal that should be meet at one point that is what c1 clear c1 very good and if you can draw like this c2 just what i told you i am drawing i am showing like this again separately again this is by convex and this is by concave now i am drawing one normal from the convex surface now this is the c1 and this is the c2 Clear, children. 
in previously what i told you that should be shown very simply like this for convex lens on right side we already have c1 and now here this is c2 on left side for this one left side is c1 right side is c2 clear children yes now here i want to show here now focal length focal length for you so again the light is coming from long distance infinite distance infinite distance clear so the light is coming from long distance so i already told you this is what principal axis principal axis the light which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction they should be meet at one point that point here nothing but what we call focus what we call focus this is what f1 and on this side what you have c1 clear this is what f2 and this is c2 so here this is the ray diagram to identify the focal length what is the mean by focal length mean that nothing but it is what distance from optic center to the in case of mirrors what we call distance from pole to focus pole to the focus now in this case we can say that optic center to the focal point clear so here in this diagram what you observe the light is coming from where infinity distance that's why it is the parallel beam of light what is that parallel beam of light when the parallel beam of light is incident on the lens that should be refracted and meet one point that point is what we call here focal point of that first refracted surface clear now the distance between this is the optic center and this is now here this is f what is that focus one now distance between these two what we call as usual what is that focal length and now here again distance between from for example i am drawing here one vertical like this this is the optic axis this is the lens and if you can draw a vertical line like this this is called optical axis what is that optical axis and this is now what we call principal axis and this is now here the intersection of these two what we call optic center this is the optic axis and this is the principal axis what is the principal axis the horizontal line passes through the optic center and center of curvature is what we call principal axis the line passing through the optic center and focus that is what we call principal axis where the principal axis and optic center both should be intersect then the what we call that is optic center from optic center to focus what we call focal length children clear now here i am explaining same thing for now here concave i explain same thing for now here concave again like this parallel beam of light that is coming from long distance what we call that is for coming from long distance now here i am showing like this here these are the refracted rays what these are refracted rays and these two also refracted rays clear these two also refracted rays and these are incident rays clear and this is what principal axis what is that principal axis children here now i am extending i am extending the refracted rays back they will meet at one point refracted rays are meet at one point that point here nothing but here focal point the refracted rays are extended back they will meet at one point that point here what we call focal point focal point clear children so now this is what biconvex lens and this is biconcave lens again here distance between optic center to the f1 what we call focal length and distance between optic center to the c1 is what we call radius of curvature radius of 
curvature children. So by observing these two diagrams, you will make get one conclusion. What's that? In this case, you have to observe the convex lens should be taken as the converging lens. Converging lens. And for concave lens, what do we say? That is the diverging lens. Diverges. Because the reflected lights, which the light rays which are coming from the long distance, while they are incident on the concave, they should be deviates like this, diverges. In this case, they are meeting at one point. The converse means all are meeting at one point. All are meeting at one point. And in case of a concave mirror, because a concave lens, they should be after incident, they should be separates. That is what we call diverse. Now this converse diverse. Converse means meet at one point. Diverse means separating. So that's why it is called converging lens. Here lens, this is the converging lens and this is also known as the diverging lens. Children, so after that you have to remind one thing here I am showing like this. In a red diagram I am showing like this. Clear? And this is the first thing here and in a red diagram I am showing like this some slits are there here slits will be there here their arrow mark now here I am having this is F1 C1 and this is the F2 C2 and this is now F1 C1 and this is the F2 C2 clear F1 C1, F2 C2, F2 C2, F1 C1. Now this symbol can represent the as double convex lens. Double or biconvex lens. This symbol, slits are there here. Like this seems to be like V are slits. Now that represents the biconcave. What's that? Biconcave. That means instead of a lens, convex lens, biconvex lens, simply you can show like this. Now it is a double convex. And if you can show like this, biconcave. So no, no need to draw the like this and like this. Simply you have to keep to replace this one. We are using the symbol this one. Double headed arrows. And now here double slit like this. So this is about the children about simply about the lenses and how we can take the f1 f2 c1 c2 in convex and biconcave lenses i will show clearly here and now here how we can take the focal length and how we can find out the radius of curvature we know that the distance from optic center to the focal point what we call fo focal length optic center to the radius of curvature is what we call Sorry, optic center to the center of curvature is what we call radius of curvature. So children, so watch carefully. Then it's very important to hear topic now. So I hope you understand. Very simple. In these two diagrams, what you observed, the light is coming from long distance. That's why it seems to be parallel beam of light. After reflection, refraction, they are meeting at one point. That point is focal point, and that's why it is called converging lens. Distance from optic center to focal point, what we call focal length. And in this case also, the light is coming from long distance. That's why there is a parallel beam of light. After refraction, they know what you say. They should be, seems to be diverged, that's what is called diverging lens. After extending the drive, uh, refracted rays backward, they will meet at one point. That point is called here focal point. Again, the distance between optic center to the focal point, what we call focal length. Optic center to the radius of curvature is what we call, sorry, center of what we call radius of curvature. Children, so this is the information about the simply about the lenses and how we can draw the focal length diagrams for biconvex and biconcave children i hope you understand the topic if you can understand the topic like the video share the video and comment the video i am requesting myself if you can understand the topic very clearly then it will share to your friends and your neighbors also you have to share that one and you must subscribe my channel for latest updates and press the bell icon for latest notification children. Bye. Take care. We will meet in the next video with next topic. See you. Bye.